G'day guys, it's Chronicles of Solid here and welcome back to another off-road adventure. There will be two things that are a little different in this video. The first is I've got a few clips from my mate's GoPro on this ride so you'll have a few bits of footage of me riding like this bit here. And the second is the narration probably won't be so heavy on this video and that's because my mate finally got a center headset so most of the day we're chatting away to each other so there's not so much room in the video for me to make comments but I will try and squeeze in a few here and there. Anyway, let's get going on the adventure and enjoy the footage guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I just kind of leave it on for all the rides and then turn it off at the brakes because the batteries are pretty good for this. I do need to get a backup one. Yeah. So the aim of today is just to explore pretty much. <laughs> I'm just following like a plan. The first half of this video we just spend exploring a similar area to where we were last week and then the second half of the video we follow the train line again with a little bit of a new bit at the end. We find some sand and I quickly dump it. Running theory is that you brought it because on all these rides you only ever see all your fuck ups. So in a bit to catch me being a retard, you brought yours. Here yeah, we're just talking about uh, David bringing in his GoPro for the first time, and I'm pretty sure he brought it just because of last week where I caught him going through the puddle, and there's no footage of me messing up. So he's brought the GoPro along this time to try and even out the odds. I'm extra paranoid about the trees today after what happened last week. What happened? He was going along and a tree turned his motorbike off. <laughs> she hit the kill switch. <laughs> I told you they have a frickin' male malevolent little shits. It was so funny, you were going along and then my head said, I didn't get it first, you look like you can't get on the road. It's the same day I was on the bike from you. Yeah, I got the religious picture on that side. Oh, that's neat. I already had to put my foot down once. Yeah, that must be the property. And continuing on the theme of my rides in some kind of broken or burnt out car. Exhibit A. What gear do you trundle along on in these trails? So I'm usually a gear higher than you, I think. Mainly when you're 
when you rev it, it's pretty pretty useless in low revs. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> How are you going with um, changing gear standing up? If I do change standing up, it takes me quite a while. But being a road rider, I got used to changing without a clutch ages ago, so it makes it a little easier. Do you change up without using the clutch at all? Because you don't need the clutch to change up gears, and it's, as long as you, you know, do it relatively smoothly, there's no real um, can't think of the word yeah no real problems occur from it here we're discussing uh, how we're finding changing gears when we're standing up on the pegs and it does take a bit of time to get used to admittedly I'm still in the getting used to it stage I used to be horribly pathetic at it but now with a few rides under my belt I'm slowly getting used to it I can change up gears without a problem if it's you know not too much of a difficult surface but I do find it difficult to change up gears when the terrain is uh, getting rough. Changing down isn't so hard because you don't really have to finesse your foot as much but we're uh, both still learning to change gears while standing up. Is that running? <laughs> Can we get straight through through the bush now? Sorry, tiny trees. There's actually a track here, like a single track. Yeah, it doesn't look like a legit one, but people have definitely camped here. David and I had a quick break here at the makeshift campsite just to uh, do some emergency maintenance on his uh, Honda's mirror, which took a little longer than we would like to admit. But with a multi-tool and a brain and a half, we got it done. Describing one full brain to David and half a brain to myself. And is that the track just through there? separated yeah how far does your 20s go do you know all right 
so yours is better than I've just got a five. I think it goes about. Really? That's probably probably the aerial then that gets so fast. Yeah, that sounds about what mine is. It's a bit difficult to uh, hear what David's saying there. He's just waxing lyrical about the uh, benefits of the center. Of course, I'm not getting paid to say this, but they do um, they do add an added element to uh, off-road riding when you can kind of chat and communicate on the fly. It makes it a lot easier. And uh, being that David's just got his, he's still in the honeymoon period and absolutely loving it. This is the puddle section coming up. your experience. Fuck <laughs> that. There's an extra. I was waiting for you to do your thing. Whoa! Almost lost it. Oh, I've got a wet foot now. And mud everywhere. to the right Here's a different angle of me going through the puddle that David almost disappeared down last week. That's also the good thing about non-waterproof boots. They do let the water in but it's all draining out. We did have to keep our eye out for traffic during this ride. There was quite a lot of people collecting firewood for some reason. And there's a few moments where four-wheel drives come herring around the blind corner and don't expect to see a motorcycle. So keep your eyes out. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Whoa. Yeah, same there. I think it was just like a little sandy. But...
palm tree. Like that? The only sucky thing about the extra height on this, when the terrain's uneven, it can be hard to find your footing. Unfortunately, we've wasted pretty much the first half of the day going down these little uh, firewood access roads which always end up in a dead end which was a little disappointing but it's all part of exploring a new area. After realising that these tracks were leading nowhere we uh, got back onto the main tracks and headed into Jaredale for a coffee and then shortly after that we headed back to the uh, train line that we did last week. One, you reckon? It's a problem the GPSs don't show you like the little ways these roads are set up. On my GPS, there is no road here. Useless thing. Like any hardcore dual sporter we're doing it tough and uh, heading into town for a nice bourgeois coffee and some fries before we get going on the second leg of this video.
re-energised with caffeine we head back out for the second leg of the ride and I enjoyed it much more this time we followed the train track as in the last video but I just felt not being sick I was able to handle the terrain a lot easier and I wasn't using so much energy and I felt like I was travelling a little faster so doing it a second time it was much more enjoyable this time round got confused on who was who
work with all those uh, whoops and little jumps and stuff. Unfortunately, Dave's GoPro ran out of batteries by lunchtime, so we weren't able to get any footage of uh, me riding from here on out. Doesn't matter, it'll just be nice having some footage of... Yeah, basically. It is good, I might try and steal a couple of clips. Amazing how much difference this feeling better is, like we're travelling a little bit quicker than the last time. I guess it's also probably to do with we've been down here before. Good thing of growing up in the country, you learn to you know, pay attention to the certain shape of a tree or something. Oh, coming in a bit quick. Thank God for engine braking. From the yeah. angle, it looked like a huge impassable one, isn't it? Riding in this blue metal is not as difficult as riding in sand, as I soon find out. Whoa! 
<laughs> You're right, man. I was about to say we are trucking along a bit. Ooh. And I just about ended up with a little bumper. I'll let you get ahead a bit. Much less water this time. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Try and get another vanity shot. Yeah, this is the puddle of doom for me. So you're fucking fine. Watch me. I'll go through and die. Time I was fine, I didn't hit a rock. That was anti climatic as well. Yeah. Oop, neutral isn't the gear I want. into that giant rut. <laughs> that slide you had would look really good on camera. For some reason my indicator's on. This is the other one I slid on. Got up a bit there. Straight ahead. Yep. Yeah. My SD card basically runs out of room in a couple of minutes after the sand and I crash, so I'll take this opportunity to say thanks for tuning in once again and enjoy my spill. Hopefully, I'll see you in a video soon. Catch you later, guys. Like about it. Good. Good. So you and Dean turned off a little earlier. I'll actually check that my helmet camera is actually attached to my helmet. Check. Okay, uh huh. So what yeah. continues on? on the other side. Well, you go left no, like straight ahead like that. Oh yeah. Uh, did you want to have a little peek? Yeah, oh, sure. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, don't wash out on the highway.
momentum up a bit. Good thing we didn't go here last time when I was feeling sick. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Just about lost it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sandy. I had a major moment there when my front was facing in the opposite direction to my rest of my bike. You've had more sand experience as well. Whoa. Permanent knowledge that they know they have to go back to it. Yep, stop. <laughs> I'm down. Sorry about that. I just thought, uh, getting quite thick now, and I might. We reckon it's minus 10 around spot, or? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how much hotter you get. I'm not, I'm not cooking in this last. Just wait a bit. Yeah. I would have felt more comfortable going along here and actually giving it a bit of stick to stay above the sand, but... But there's that know, fence there, that's what I yeah. slowed down for as well. Yeah, with the fence right here, you just think you only just need one, one slide out to the side and be very quick. It won't be much fun. That's why I think I can remember the guy saying, um, if your bike does go down, just to... Sit it upright for a, for a minute or two first, just to let all the oils and bits and pieces drain back where they should be. Oh, fuck, it's hot too. I think I have a drink. Oh, this is a good little bit to know about, though, for practicing um, riding in the sand. Yes. It's alive. I think I'll just paddle through the rest.